welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a MacBook customization video part two. I will link part one right up here. You should totally check it out. And let's get customizing. So I just downloaded the Vixer update and one super cool feature that you can do is change your Safari background. So all you need to do is open up Safari and then click on the icon on the bottom right and then click on the rectangle with the plus. And there's a whole bunch of backgrounds that you can choose from. There's even some plain backgrounds, which I really like. Especially this pastel pink. I think it's so cute. But if you do want to change your background, all you need to do is go back to that icon and then just X out the background that you previously chose. Click on the plus again and then choose a different one. So I believe that some of these backgrounds actually change with the time of day, which I think is the coolest thing ever. So definitely check this out. So the next thing that I'm going to be showing you is how to customize your dock and menu bar. So all you need to do is go to system preferences and then click on dock and menu bar. So you can actually customize the dock size to make it bigger or smaller, which I think is super cool. Honestly, it was kind of fun playing around with this for like a minute. Aside from the size, you can also customize the position on the screen. So you could put it on the left or the right. So you can actually also hide and show your menu bar and your dock. All you need to do is just check these little buttons. To show your menu bar or dock, just roll your mouse in the area and it should appear. Now I'm going to be showing you a few more customizations that I think are so cool. So all you need to do is go into System Preferences and then click on General Settings. To change the appearance of your buttons, menus, and windows, all you need to do is go right next to Appearance and choose either Light, Dark, or Auto. It also changes the appearance of your widgets, so if you really like lighter widgets, then definitely choose the light setting. I personally love the dark setting. I just think it looks super cool. Another customization that you can do is change your highlight color, which I think is so cool. So all you need to do is go next to highlight and choose your color. I like going into other and then choosing my own color, so I'm just picking a color that I really like. So now I'm just going into Safari just to test out the highlight color and I'm literally just typing in the most random thing. Whatever just came to my mind, I don't even know. Then I'm just highlighting whatever I see and I ended up really loving this color. I also wanna show you how I moved around and changed the placement of some apps. One super simple thing that you can do is go into your launch pad and rearrange any apps that you like just by clicking and dragging. So in order to add some apps to your dock, all you need to do is go onto your launch pad then just click on the app that you want in your dock. Then you're just going to drag the app into the bigger section. Right click on the app and then go into options and press keep in dock. If you want to remove the app, then all you need to do is go into options again and press remove from dock. So the next thing that I wanna show you guys is how to change your screensaver to this clock. Also, this is footage of me doing this on my old computer from a while back. Start by going onto the website Flinclo, then click on screensaver and scroll down until you find the download buttons. You could also download this for Windows if you have a Windows computer. Go into your downloads and then drag that right onto your computer. Then go to desktop and screensaver in your system preferences, press screensaver. Then you're just going to double click on the Flinclo thing. Then once it opens, just click on the thing that says saver. Then something should pop up and you're just going to install it. Back on System Preferences, right under Screensaver, it should appear right on the bottom. And this is how it looks. Another really cool feature is called Hot Corners. Basically, if you bring your mouse to one of the corners on your computer, something will appear depending on what you customize it to. Just click on the Hot Corners button, and you can choose whatever you want. I'm just choosing Start Screensaver. Now I'm going to be talking about how to customize your own widgets. So to access your widgets, all you need to do is click on the date and time on the top right hand side of your screen, then just click on edit widgets. So now you can just move around all your widgets and you could add some or delete some, whatever you want to do. The next thing that I'm going to be showing you is how to add in your own personalized widgets. So start off by going into the app store and then searching up the app dot dot dash and just installing that onto your computer. So once you're in the app, then you're just going to press add widget and then you can change the color or add some text. So you can also set an aesthetic image to your widget. I like to look up aesthetic wallpaper visco or aesthetic wallpaper Pinterest because a lot of really cute things pop up. Once you find the images that you like, then you're just going to drag those onto your desktop, select those, right click, then press share and add to photos. Now go back to your widget and instead of pressing set single color, you're going to press set image. 
Now just choose the photo that you want to use and then go back to the page with all the widgets and press edit widgets. Then click on the dot dot dash app and the last widget that you made will appear. The last step is to just drag in your widget. You can also change the size if you like. I personally love the smaller one. I also moved around some widgets until I liked how it looked. So the next thing that I'm going to be showing you is something that is so cool. I'm going to be showing you how to add aesthetic fonts to your font library. So the first step is to just go onto the website defont.com and I seriously love this website. This website has the cutest fonts ever. Now you could search through any of the font categories. I really like some of the script fonts or you could search up a font that you know about from like a video or something. I found this really cute Christmas font for December content and it's called Christmas Jumper. I think it's adorable. Now you're just going to press download next to the font that you like and then you're going to move your browser to the side and click on the downloads icon. Now you're just going to drag the folder onto your desktop then you could just clear your downloads. Now I'm just going into the font book on my computer, going into user fonts, and then dragging the folder right into there. By sliding the bar on the right, you can see how the font looks in all different sizes, just for reference. Then if you want, you could just delete the folder. So the last thing that I'm going to be showing you is how to add fonts to your text on notes and on stickies. And also change the color of your text. So the first step is to open the app notes and then type in whatever you want to write. Now just select the text, right click, then scroll all the way down to fonts and press show fonts. Now I'm just scrolling down until I find a font that I really like and I'm going to be using a font called Lemon Milk which is also from defont.com and it is so cute. Now I'm going to be showing you how to change the color of your text on notes. Start by just selecting your text and then you're going to right click and scroll all the way down until you reach font. Then you're going to scroll down again until you reach show colors. Now you're just going to select whichever color that you want your text to be and then you're done. To use your fonts on your post-it notes on the app Stickies. By the way, that was kind of like a tongue twister. But anyways, all you need to do is open up the app Stickies and write whatever you want to write. Now just select your text, go into your menu bar, press font, then press show fonts, and then select the font that you want to use. For this one, I decided to use Shoreline Script, which is another font from defont.com, and as you can see, I am obsessed with that website. And now I'm just changing the size. Once you choose the font that you like, then you can also change the color. Select your text once again, go back to font, then scroll all the way down to show colors. Now I'm just choosing a color that I really like, and that's your post-it note. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, you should totally check out part one if you haven't already, as well as my iPhone iOS 14 customization video. I share so many fun tips and tricks on how to customize your technology, so you should definitely check those out. I will link those in the description box. I will see you guys in my next video.